Walker makes a nice cut. Kenneth Walker shows you why he's been the most productive running back in the country. That was a terrific run. And watch the hole and what he does within this hole. Look at this. It's closed, right? Look at look at right here, the coverage right there by Hickman. But good job trusting. Nice block by Hunt. Cut back underneath 97's block Hunt. Joyner is the bounce on third and long. Bourne loops a long throw, and the catch is made. First down yardage by Reed. Nice throw. He beat Burke that time. The back, back shoulder fade. Look at throwing it away from Burke, who's the most talented corner that Ohio State has. Uh, Kenneth Walker, Michigan State, and, and C.J. Stroud. Definitely didn't hurt himself today. And McCoy throws a pick. Threw it right into the hands of Justin White. Oh, no, he, he ends up short-arming this and just not throwing it out away from the defender. Made it pretty easy. White saw it coming the entire time. From 21 yards out to win the game. Snap, spot, ball game. Michigan State is 4-0. Michigan State won two games last year, undefeated now 4-0 to begin 2021. Berenger, the only thing he did wrong all night. Peyton Thorne out of the shotgun. Thorne lobs it up. from Peyton Thorne. This is beautiful. Fake it to Simmons. Thorne, a pocket, throws up in the air. Hayward catches, breaks away. Still fighting, still in bounds. And finally shoved out near the 10. Hayward, 38 yards. The proud popper right there. The post wasn't open, but just throw it to the hybrid running back, fullback, whatever you need, and then I'll truck the dude. My dad's name's... Those body blows on those defenses. Thorne rolling. Throws back across the grain. That's a nice pitch and catch. This is a big play. Deep inside Hilltopper territory. Off and running. Naylor brought down outside the 20. His ability to escape the pocket in the defensive end right there and then throw it. Reed right here, down here working on Kalen King, the freshman. And a high oh, oh, one-handed grab for a first down. And the coordinator said he's really come on in recent weeks. Well, he did a beautiful job of just cutting off the cornerback, Joey Porter. They did the last drive. Can their defense do it again? Bedrill hit as he throws, it's free. They're saying that's a live ball. It's picked up by Jacob Slade. Watch the arm. Was he going forward? Ooh, it's like that might be a fumble. We'll take several looks at it when we get back. On the MSU 40-yard line. It's a play-action pass, and a deep throw to Hayward of the pass on the money inside the 30-yard line. What a catch and throw. Play 35 yards. Well, they love to utilize the bootleg. Peyton Thorne squares those shoulders, and an absolute dime on the run to Connor Hayward. Five. Martinez looking, pressured, and the ball is out, and it's recovered. It's recovered by Michigan State's Petrowski. Again, unbelievable effort. Watch Petrowski come from 47. He's in for the injured Beasley. This is all fight for him. You've got to have a clock right here. Panashi knocks it free. Make sure he has control of that. The alarm clock's got to go off there for Adrian Martinez and go. Looks like he has firm control before he hits the sideline. Two touchdowns. He's over 100 yards now. They go back to the ground. Kenneth Walker is seen off the left side. Hits the sideline. Kenneth Walker inside the 25. 32 yards. Vision, because this play is set to go here, and this is all number nine. Right? It is set to go to the front side. He sees the crease, and then once again, just making another man miss. Averages eight and a half a, a game. And how you do that, how much strength that that requires to put your... He's going to have to be big if they're going to hold up against these wideouts. Walker, eight carries, 30 yards. Here off the play fake. 
Thorne, well, he's got a great arm, and he's got a receiver in Trey Mosley. Taking it all the way down inside the Rutgers 40. See right here, I mentioned Trey Avery. He's going to have to be big. Mosley working in the slot. Just able to run a seven route, which is a post corner. Watch if they sneak up close within eight yards of the line of scrimmage. They're about eight right now. They're trying to stop the run. Second and 16. Deep shot down the middle. A target for Reed. Complete. Deep into Western Kentucky territory. A beautiful deep throw. They just run a post route over the top. And look at this beautiful deep ball. See how he throws it to the grass, Joe? That's what you do. You throw it to the grass. And look at the route. Just outruns both of them. Had the, line, uh, had the safety underneath, the corner over the top. Total pressure coming. Ball is out. Ball is out. And Michigan State's got it. Kimbrough with the pressure. They do not bring pressure very much. They played so much zone. But now to the short side of the field, they're going to bring the corner. Jack Tuttle sees it late. The ball separates. Kimbrough goes for it. Right there. Once you separate the throw, you are vulnerable. Right? You teach those quarterbacks to keep two hands on it. Kimbrough not only strips it. 74-yard touchdown drive. The Spartans begin from their own one. Walker, huge haul. Kenneth Walker trying to outrun Jair Brown who took him down. Watch the block by Hayward, number 11, on Jaquan Brisker, who's always up around the football. That was the key block, the tight end Hayward. And Thorne to throw it. Up! Neither! And he's tackled deep in Michigan territory. Keeping Walker right there between the tackles. They try to trick things. Now the reverse to pass. They go back to Thorne. It's incomplete. But Tyler Hunt, too. He catches it. I think he's in bounds. I think you've got to look at that replay booth. 109 to go. McNamara looking. into it he sits he sits now he takes off deep under the corner route and grabs it basically one-handed what a play from the youngster goes in front of schoonmaker and seals the victory for michigan state and they will stay undefeated on third and three martinez will throw on the slant and it's intercepted it's picked off chester kimbrough Kimbrough with a convoy in front. Flag thrown inside the 25-yard line. Tackle. And just sits on this. Kimbrough sits on the route. Toure has to come flatter. Not a great angle by Toure. That's way too high. He comes flat. That's a first down. You go high. Kimbrough cuts it underneath. Very fortunate. That's not a touchdown. the leading rusher in terms of yards last year. And trying to pick Thorne showing some confidence right here with where he places it. And again, the eyes have been so impressive. Looks off the defense to one side of the field, knows the entire time. He's coming back towards the other front pylon, right on the money. The H back. Walker, a little bit of a delay, and it's a foot race for the pylon, and Kenneth wins it, diving in for the touchdown. And Kenneth Walker with the hat trick. This is all want to. 
He knows where that pylon is. Virgin knows where that pylon is. It's a race. And number nine wins the race with the extension for the touchdown. You know, it's tough because you're in a league where there's so many great rivalry trophies, right? Peyton Thorne, lots of time, running out of time. Fires to the back of the end zone for a touchdown. Trey Mosley. Plenty of time to watch. It's only a three-man rush, so he doesn't panic. He just extends, extends, and waits for Mosley to open up in the back of the end zone. On fourth down and two, they just give it to Walker, trying to get the edge. He does, and he's got the end zone for the touchdown. Right here. They're able to seal the edge right there at the point of attack. Cameron Brown, or sorry, Jamari Brown, seven, gets caught looking inside. He makes his second and seven, facing pressure. Thorne floating, well freed, perfectly thrown. Touchdown, Michigan State. Thorne to read again, this time from 29. These two connected on a fourth and four, but this is an inside fade, and this is a man beater. And you knew that this was going to be in the game plan. These two that have thrown that round. Lobs it wide open. The man with the big play, the big arm, Tyler Hunt. His first career touchdown reception. I'm all game long that Indiana got lost. Eye discipline has been off the charts. Perfectly timed. That is teaching tape. By Tyler Hunt. He knows that he's the guy that's going to get his number called. Kind of like that double reverse pass. Foster Jr. in motion. And Thorne, a screen pass this time to Collins, who shakes loose. Elijah Collins in for the touchdown. Elijah Collins turns and heads for six. Michigan State is rolling. And run it with Walker. Terrific change of direction. Touchdown. And Kenneth Walker showing off. This time, watch the stop start. He gets to the middle, stops off that right foot. And Thor will keep it. Thor eyes the end zone for the touchdown. He was a baseball stud for a little while. This is like the hidden ball trick here because everyone on defense thought that Kenneth Walker had it. And for some reason, it tends to catch people off guard how mobile Peyton Thorne is. Offensive line came off, ran the folks off. And they are doubling up Northwestern in the uh, total yardage category. And looking to add to the score tally right here. Blockers in front. Touchdown. Touchdown. Jordan Simmons. 14 okay. yards on the screen. Jay Johnson, I just want you to watch all of the offensive linemen. Watch the White Hats in front. That's a convoy. You've got one, two, three, four, five blockers out front. And if you're Jordan Simmons, it's just like playing Grand Theft Auto. You're just weaving through traffic, <laughs> trying to find your way to the end zone. That's an easy touchdown. Third down. And a throw to the end zone. And a touchdown catch made by Keon Coleman. See what they want in the matchup against Ryan Watts, a backup corner, one on one. Never really turned his eyes or his head back to find the football. Watch his head. Never, by the time he turns, the ball's by him. And a good ball thrown and really good concentration by a guy that they think has a bright future, Keon Coleman. I almost thought he was the favorite the entire offseason. Right, so has Matt Letter, and we are underway. And the first touch is for Kenneth Walker. And a breakaway down on the far sideline, and Kenneth Walker will take it to the house. You get a three and out, force a field goal. That's the best case situ uh, situation right there. Recapture the momentum back from Rutgers. How about a flea flicker? Ford. He's got him again. Look at this. It's Naylor with three long touchdowns in the first half. Answered by a deep touchdown pass by Michigan State. The flea flicker here. And Peyton Thorne's accuracy on deep balls has been incredible. Jalen Naylor, speedy as they call him. <laughs> Thorne looking for Naylor again. Dropped it right in the bread basket. And then Naylor, remember, he's a former track star. And he is gone. That is perfect. It's where it's supposed to be. Andre Avery, we're just giving him love. Look at that. 
outside shoulder, and he's not content with that. He wants to get to the end zone. You mentioned his track background and the speed. Thorne in trouble, gets hit, steps up, takes off, now throws, got a man. Diving catch is made in the end zone for a touchdown by Trey Mosley. So he saw Aiden O'Connell for Purdue make an athletic play. This time, Peyton Thorne for Michigan State does the same thing. Well, it's an outstanding job. Branson Dean really jumps too soon, thinking that Peyton Thorne's going to get rid of that football. Peyton Thorne remains calm, evades the rush, eyes down the field, and he locates his open target, Trey Mosley. Outstanding job on that drive by Peyton Thorne. Thorne under center, on the delay, Walker. Skipping to the outside, tries to hurdle one defender, keeps the legs going, dives to the pylon, touchdown! Look at the effort here. Beanie Bishop comes low, he hurdles him, and then a little strength, and he reaches for the pylon. I think he breaks the pylon and the plane. Michigan State quickly to the line of scrimmage, third down and three, Walker. Kicking that to Jaden Reed. Watch the returner down to the right. This is a designed play by Michigan State. They're anticipating the ball kicked to the right. It's a little way they can bait a directional kicker, kick it to the wrong way. And look, look right there. That's a picture of it. Green grass. That's why it gets through that. You've got big guys in the shield for Nebraska. Offensive linemen and tight ends that can't make that play in space. That's why you don't kick it to Jaden Reed. And Reed is at kick returns tonight of 61 yards, 28 yards, and now a 62-yard punt return for a score. And the first punt return for a touchdown for the Spartans since 2011. Walker had a 12-yard gain on first down, and now Thorne going deep downfield. He's got him wide open. Jalen Naylor, and they'll never catch him. And Michigan State strikes back quickly. 84 a reason. Naylor hits him with a double move, just kind of slow off the line. Messes with Trey Avery's eyes. And it wasn't even close. And that's why they call him Speedy. They try to keep a pretty fluid rotation going, more than a lot of other teams around the country. Thorne sizing it up, going deep to the field. He connects big time with Reed. Reed is off to the races. Are the way Mel Tucker likes to run his program. You saw last week some of these deep ball opportunities missed from Thorne to Reed. Outstanding route, taking the defender to the post. Phenomenal touch. So they're going to go for this on fourth and 15. To the end zone, single coverage. And oh my goodness. Fair touchdown by Jaden Reed. Watch Jaden Reed, it's just gonna kind of box out the defender and then go up for the rebound and make the play. Johnny Dixon's in great position, but Jaden Reed goes up and makes the play. The quarterback gave him a chance. Purdue right now a half game out of first place in the West. Minnesota four and two, quarterback run. Thorne's got the first down and more. Inside the 20, inside the 10, into the end zone. Touchdown, Michigan State. He's gonna get up to the second level and really help spring this run by Peyton Thorne. Excellent play call and quality execution. Terps beating Terps too often this season. Here's the little flea flicker. They've had great success this season. They strike again. This time on Tony 
Foster. Touchdown from 52. Possibly run another one of these, but they do, and it results in another touchdown. Well, it's the influence of number nine, first and foremost. You see that whole front seven attack, and then on the outside, I mean, you just can't beat a corner any more cleanly than that. That is beautiful, well done, right off the jump. And when you got somebody that open, you cannot overthrow it. That's a perfect ball. Sydney, Australia native, sends it on its way, and this is a booming shot. Reed from his own 12. Reed makes the first two men miss. Reed brings him up out of their seats. Reed down the sideline. Reed all the way. Flex those muscles. Jaden Reed, electric, dipping his Nebraska. Decides Reed he's going to do it again. Running. And Un you can say so long. Jaden Reed with you. And the Spartans. Kenneth Walker. Touchdown, Michigan State. 27 yards. Great running backs take a broken play, something that looks like nothing, and they turn it into huge explosive plays. Look at Walker as he finds the space. The only question is, did he have control right when he crossed the goal line? They'll take a look, and it looks like he does, but my goodness, that ball just slipping out of his hand as he was going across, and they will take a deeper look at this in review. That was awfully close. The run was fantastic for Mel Tucker. Nothing there on the front side, and yet he keeps himself alive. That's the vision I was talking about. He creates the explosive, gets around the edge, and then it looked like that ball just started coming loose from his hand as he was going across the plane of the goal line. This will be a tough look because it won't be down the line, but you see as it starts to leave the crease of that elbow, that would be where you would signify control lost. Wow. It would be very tough. I think it's going to be very tough to overturn that. Walker leads the nation in yards after contact. Michigan State loves to bring those backers up the middle. Intercepted by Michigan State. Cal Halliday streaking across, and he is in for the pick six. Show this blitz, and this should have told Tuttle that they are going to bluff and get out of it. But he checks to a quick game exactly what Holiday was hoping for. He reads the eyes the entire time. Those linebackers are savvy and smart, man. They get to that line. They're showing a blitz. Back to Thorne. Deep ball. End zone. Reed. Touchdown. Michigan State. Miles Farmer for the safety. Those two guys, have, one has to fit the run, and one has to cover Jaden Reed. So corner right here as we let this play, the corner is the run fit. That's his job right here. Now the safety has to play Jaden Reed in space. That is really hard. All week those guys are hammered, man. See those, see those keys, see those keys, play the run, play the run, and all of a sudden I have a really fast guy running right at me. Great execution all around. But this will help get him some breathing room. Walker, Walker, across the 30, still on his feet. There he goes, Kenneth Walker. He's going to go all the way. One play, 94 yards for Kenneth Walker the third. Kenneth Walker the third. You see the offensive line get the hole. What's impressive is right here, he's not finished. Let me put a little move that time on Avery Young. He gets help, some blocking from his wide receivers, and then has enough gas in the tank. A little high five with Jalen Naylor. And check that. He's one and one. And the start against Penn State, and then the first win that he picked up, and a little trickeration to get things going. Pistol formation, everyone on the defense, everyone in Spartan Stadium bit on Kenneth Walker being handed the football. The entire defense of the Penguins thought this handoff was going to happen because of the way things started last week. 
If there was any bugaboo from the performance of Peyton Thorne last week, missed a few of these deep play opportunities. Not so much on play number one, Jaden Reed to the house. <laughs>